What's up guys, Merc RS back with another CV game and this one is going to be with the Midway in a ranked battle. Um, so I've been playing ranked lately and I fi figured eh, let's just show what I'm trying to focus on initially and etc etc. Uh, we see this guy tried to catch me with his fighter so obviously I'm just going to move back. I'm going to drop this fighter here uh, just to soak his fighter and that means I can fly back in to potentially strike something. Um, Oh, I know it's a little laggy. That should be better. Uh, so yeah, I'm able to fly in here and just double check. Um, he could have dropped the fighter to protect a DD, so I'm just going to double check it real quick. And I see, no, no real DD making the quick move for it. So I'll use my next one to primarily spot. So I'll just get out of that circle there and then drop this one here. It's best pool. Probably wouldn't want to show broadside. He's going to try and turn out, I would think. So I think it's good fighter placement there. We do bump into Vampire, um, so we're going to start working on him. Vampire is definitely more powerful than the um, gearing, in my opinion. So I decided, okay, let's just get working on this guy. You know, Napoli doesn't have Hydro. You'd have to depend on Chief Flint to do it. Who knows how long he'll last, so uh, let's just get to work on this guy. Um, so we get this strike off, and I was wondering why this one didn't land. I thought he would break, I guess. And he didn't, so he completely avoids that. Uh, next fight, we're going to take Bombers and continue working on the one that we can see. Um, I'm hoping Bertagone is just going to keep getting more and more separated uh, from the group so that I can strike him. Um, but right now, it's still, let's get on Vampire. He hasn't used his smoke yet. Let's try and make him use it earlier than what he'd want, you know. Uh, we are pretty far from everything, so let's just go ahead and use our boost. As the game progresses, we're going to get closer and closer, so might as well just boost now, right? No need to pre-drop. Vampire is not a huge threat by itself, so it uh, just makes sense to go after him. He did leave his AA on and tell me where he is, so that's helpful. It's going too fast to pull this off. Let's turn up the volume on this thing. Yeah, so we got a major drop there, like 10k. <laughs> um, so we don't even have to try and think about him too much anymore. Right now, let's just target on Sevestival. I do see B was getting capped, so I know Z52 is definitely over there. So we'll log that in our head. Turning away from Mecklenburg, because we do want to get a second drop on uh, Sevestival, potentially a full one. See how we throw it out too so that we can get wide because I know he's turning out right here, right? So we will go wide and we get a recurring fire. Uh, so Burgone was initially going to be my target here. Um, and as I took the planes off, I thought, okay, well, you know, Mecklenburg isn't spotted while shooting. So Z52 isn't going down the middle pass, right? Um, I feel like at this point he's going wide. Um, and that feeling turns out to be incorrect. But let's just keep watching here. So actually, I can speed this stuff up, right? Oh no, it's a uh, it's my MP4 file. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, going ahead, going ahead. I see my planes get spotted as I go over the island, so I go with my first hunch that he's over here. But uh, it turns out he's over there by our Shima. So uh, Shima does smoke up. Kind of worried about Z getting um, pushing him, but Z did actually did end up turning out. So. At this point, I'm going to go for a strike here. You know, Shima can keep shooting while I drop these torps and continue spotting him. He does smoke up and he does start to slow down. So I'm just going to drop this right on him in the event that he's parking uh, and backing up. So uh, midway, yeah, I mean, HE bombs <laughs> and uh, HE rockets, always good versus DDs. But you can definitely use torps when they're uh, in the smoke. Here, I just double down on him backing up and aim for the center. So hopefully we strike him. And because there's no AA, I'm staying out of Burgone AA, or uh, line of sight. You know, can't see what I'm doing. And uh, he does get hit by that anyway, so. We are moving up. There's nothing that can be of a threat to me right now. Um, so I'm just trying to be cautious a little bit, trying to get in there closer, but uh, still trying to maximize damage, right? Uh, Burgone has to be the target. I'm not going to drive to target something 22 kilometers away. 
Let's just go after this Burgone. I do drop this fighter here, not to catch his rockets per se, because I know he turns out. Uh, it's more to just clear his rockets, or clear his fighter group, um, just so that I, I do stay as safe as possible. Because I do want to get aggressive here, right? Burgone does take the shot. It's far enough. He's not going to cause significant damage to me, so it's really not a problem. On this juncture here, um, I could approach from the back or from the front. When you're presented with that, always try and go for the front. Um, because they are going to be driving at you wh when you do that. And that reduces the time that you're spending in the AA. Um, or at least reduces the amount of damage you're taking because you're having to catch up if you're approached from the back. So, turning out away from the carrier, right? And at this flight, I'm, uh, I see he's got the three fires going, so I'm going to go for the fourth. So I do want to get the nose, right? So yeah, we're going to get up there, and let's aim for that nose. And it ends up killing him anyway, so. From here, I'm just going to work on Hakuryu. Uh, because Hakuryu is the main threat to me, right? So uh, Hakuryu is... If Hakuryu spots me... Then Mechleburger against Vestibule could target me, right? But if I remove that, and it can be targeted by my gearing and Mechleburg, it just makes the perfect target right now. Uh, so when you do target enemy CVs, you do have to make sure you're pre-dropping um, with your torpedo planes. In most carriers, uh, the ideal general approach with attacking tor with torpedoes is you want to pre-drop and just attack with the minimum that you need. Don't lose the planes um, unnecessarily, especially against Akuryu who's just sitting there, staying still. Who, do, who does have a cat fighter? Oh, the flak. Flak. Controlling the flak, making it spawn where I don't need to go. Don't need to use a heal on this flight. And we drop it right there. And we'll get our hit. And let's just keep going with that, right? So keep going with the torpedoes on this guy. Everything else is basically a non-factor at this point. Sevestable is running away. Mecklenburg is so wide. He's going to have to go to Charlie, if anything. So I'm going to plot for that and plan that once Kuryu is dead, uh, Mecklenburg couldn't possibly spot me at all. So let's just get closer to him and we'll just kill him. Because um, with a rock in front of you, you're in such an insane advantage with your carrier. So get closer, not farther. Especially when it's like this secured of a win, you know? This one, uh, we do decide to... Do we do heal? No, we decide to just drop before we hit that flak wall. That would have killed that third plane, so... So I know he's dead from that flight, so I can just go and start working on Mecklenburg at this point. And that's really it, man. I mean, once you knock out DDs, I, uh, it's... The game is pretty much in your control. Uh, and that gives Midway the advantage in this type of match. Um... Especially in when there's only a few ships. If two of them are DDs and you got Hakuryu, you kind of got an issue there. So that's anyway a quick battle. Um, and we're gonna just going to keep pushing through to get top of silver at least and get the full reward. So hope you enjoyed it. And I um, hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. GG!